Hi guys, do you wanna edit like a pro? Today I wanna show maybe the best technique for skin retouch and exactly the frequency separation. Stay with me and I'll show you what is frequency separation and how to use it on a skin retouch. I picked this image to work with and I suggest you before make a frequency separation to remove all the pimples and the scratches on the face. We can remove it later but in some cases you double the work, that's why I suggest you to make it first. And let's duplicate this layer with Ctrl Command J. And I prefer to use a patch tool, but if you want, you wanna use a healing brush or a clone stamp, but I prefer a patch tool. Let's start removing. Don't rush, be very careful. I will speed a little bit because it's too boring. I think we are ready with the removing uh, all the pimples and the scratches. And now it's time to our frequency separation. But let me first explain what is frequency separation. Everybody knows what is frequency, it's a wave in time and space, but in our case, our frequencies are the relief and the colors and the texture of the image. Let me explain, I will make a new empty layer. We'll pick a white color. If you zoom out and see the face, you see the relief and the color and if you make a wave, it will be something like this. And this will be the wall frequency, with other words, the colors. But if we zoom a little bit, we will see the texture and a lot of small frequencies for the texture. And it will be something like this. And when we, when we edit the colors, we can distract the texture. That's why we want to separate the two frequencies and edit them separately. That is frequency separation. I'll delete this. Let's make a, two copies of the layer with Control command j I will group them and name the group frequency separation. The first layer will be the wall frequency or the colors. Wall frequency, colors. The second layer will be the high frequency or the texture. Okay, I'll disable the high frequency. Let's first start with the wall frequency and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and start the radius from zero and stop where you stop seeing the texture. I'll zoom a little bit. Maybe in our case it's around 8, 9. Click OK. And now we have the wall frequency or the colors. Let's go to, to high frequency. Go to image, apply image. On the layer, we have to choose the layer below, the wall frequency layer. Channel RGB, blending have to be subtract. The scale is between one and two. We wanna work with two, the maximum. And Offset have to be 1 to 8 because have to be absolutely gray. Click OK. And now we have the high frequency, but we have to change the blend mode to linear white. And now, if we disable this group, we will not see any difference from the original layer because we have the two frequencies the low frequency and the 
high frequency. Okay, let's start editing the colors on the low frequency. We can choose different tools. One of them is a mixer brush. Go to mixer brush. It's very important this to be unchecked because we will mix the colors with the chosen one, in our case the white. We will add white, but we don't want to add any colors. We want to work with the colors of the skin. That's why we have to disable this. The weight has to be maybe 5% is enough. And just start painting over the colors. Here a little bit. Again, don't rush. Okay. Now we can choose a regular brush and pick a color, the desired color. Maybe if we work with this area, I'll pick here. The opacity maximum 10. The flow depends. I will stay the 15. And just paint over the area. For this area, I'll pick a little bit white color. Okay. For the nose here. Okay. Also, we can choose a clone stamp and work with the clone stamp. Maybe a little more here. Okay. Here on the neck. Here a little bit. I work a little bit faster, but it's only to show you the method. Okay. If we missed some areas when we remove the pimples and the scratches, we can remove them if we choose the high frequency textures and with the patch tool, we can remove them later. Here. And I think we're ready. Let's see before and after. The texture stays. The skin is perfect and we don't lose any details. I think it's perfect. The best part of this method is uh, when we retouch the skin, we don't lose any texture. In most cases, you just grab the constant and start painting and the texture is missing. That's why this method is maybe the best one for the skin retouch. And I have a little bonus for you. I will put the link to the action which will make for you a frequency separation with one click. Let me show you. Go to actions. Click on the menu, load actions, load the download detection from the description and you will have the frequency separation 8-bit and 16-bit depends of your image, in our case 8-bit, click on it, click play and just set the radius of Gaussian blur for the low frequency. This depends from the resolution of your image. In our case, we said nine was good. Okay. And we have new group with the low and high frequency separation. And you can just start editing. I hope you liked the video and will be helpful for you. 
You can ask me everything in the comment section. Don't forget to download the action. Like and subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon. Thank you.